Hello dear gamers, Yorkfield here and today we are back for the second episode on my playthrough of Tokyo School Life. So you probably remember what happened in the first episode. My arrival in Narita and Tokyo, Japan was very messy. I mean, it was a mess. Like, I crashed onto a girl, then um, I started touching like here <laughs> without meaning it. And then she called me a pervert and all of that. But then things started to settle a little bit. And the first episode ended, I think, at a library with Sakura. And now we're gonna see what is going to happen next in the second episode. So make sure you smash the like button or else your waifus are gonna reject you and are gonna hate you forever. So now let's get started for the second episode of TSL. Woo! I dragged my suitcase along with the country road. I didn't eat any lunch, so I'm feeling kind of frazzled. Oh, that's the music we hear in the main menu. But it, it's very calm, you know. I can even listen to that for 10 hours straight. Ah, that would do just nicely. Anyway, I try some other bookshops after that. But in the end, Samurai Maiden is totally sold out. It's too bad I couldn't get the new volume. But I guess that's how it goes when something's so popular. A lot sure happened today. I guess minus one, minus one, plus one puts me at a total score of minus one, huh? If the next place I go is a plus, things will balance out. I look up from my smartphone and gaze at the scenery around me. Looks like this is where I'll be doing my homestay. Tomoe Dormitory, a part of Tomoe Shrine. I asked Sensei if it's normal for a shrine to house students in Japan, and he said he didn't think so. Tomoe Shrine is probably a special case. It seemed like several students live together at Tomoe Dumitri for their own various reasons. So, if you must know, the reason I'm staying here is, well, it's no special reason. Just that Sensei is a friend of the chief priest, Priest Shirakawa. I can't believe there's a tranquil place like this, just a short walk from a station nearby, the big city of Okawa. What a contrast. This isn't bad at all though, after going through so much, this soothes my tired spirits. I heard there's some students the same age as me living there, I don't care about getting to know cute girls anymore. At this point, just let me make a good impression here and make a real friend. Woo, I made it. I finished climbing up the tall stone stairway and arrive at the shrine grounds sit on the ground and then lean back on my suitcase. The shrine grounds are surrounded by a thick forest. Even though it's technically near the city, the noise level is the exact opposite. The trees shade me from the sun and a gentle breeze cools my body from the heat. What a nice place. Here it goes. I stagger to my feet. Tomoe Dumotri is located around the back of the shrine. It's a quite nice Japanese style wooden house. So this is where I'll be sleeping, spending the next two months, sorry. I can't find a doorbell. I shouldn't just enter unannounced, but what else can I do? Hello? Hello? After yelling loudly, I noticed someone in the building. Okay, yeah, I'm getting nervous. I've got to make a good introduction and make friends. Yes, okay, sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Aoi, Aoi. what's the matter? <gasps> the new girl is here, right? Hurry up and let her in? Huh? Zaishu-san, why are you here? Could, could it be you're the new person who's going to be staying here that Price Shirakawa talked about? Ah. No way! <laughs> um, blood gun by screams of anguish from Yayoi-san. 
The tall grumpy schoolgirl in front of me. Looks like it's a game over. Shirakawa! Shirakawa, that blockhead, what's he thinking? How is he gonna toss this perverted gaijin into a dorm with only girls? What? I explained to you, that was just a misunderstanding. I swear, it was just an accident. Yeah, right. The way you moved your hands was beyond creepy. You were definitely looking at my b <laughs> This is the third time that this game is making me laugh hard, guys. Karin chan, you're going a little too. No, Ayoi, you also suffered because of him, didn't you? A cute, a, the obedient and kind-hearted girl like you is bound to be tricked by this weirdo if you're not careful. You're overthinking this! I didn't think anything of the sort. I don't have any interest in your blubbery lumps. Um, everyone, for now, let's just calm down. All we have here is a misunderstanding. Just one big misunderstanding. If we calm down, we can come to an understanding. You're so kind, Minazuki-san. Unlike Yayoi-san, you're a real Yamato Nadeshiko. Hold up. What makes you think you've got permission to talk to my Sakura? I'm talking to Minazuki-san right now. Minazuki-san, how did it go with your sister? Was she happy? <laughs> what are you rambling about? She's an only child. She doesn't have a little sister. Uh, what? What the? Minazuki looks upset and won't make eye contact with me. Yeah, I thought she was the only good one in the bunch. I guess I was wrong. Sakura, Aoi, Sagan Sakura, Aoi, get back. This guy's no good. Don't let him near you. In front of my eyes, the door to Tomoe Dimitri slams shut. What? Huh? Karin, are you kidding me? Starting today, no boys allowed in the Tomoe dormitory. No boys getting in here. Nice knowing you. Now leave. Come on, she just doesn't want to believe me. What? Hold on, you expect me to sleep outside or something? Ah, th thank goodness, I knew it had to be a joke. There's no way that could have. Oh my god, thank you. I was scared for a second. What? Yayoi san throws a blanket at me and closes the door again. Then she locks it as noisily as she can so I can hear the key turning. <laughs> I checked the weather. It won't rain tonight. If you have a blanket, you won't die. Really, you should be thanking me. No, 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 no. No way! My name is Yorkfield Zaisho. I place my feet on the ground in Japan. Japan is so cool. Oh, we are going back to the beginning. What do you mean popular? Sensei, you damn liar! Oh my god, that scared me, guys.
Ugh, that guy Jean drives me crazy. Oh, oh my god. Kareem Chan, are you mad? Yeah, I'm mad. Steaming mad. He touched my boot. Breath. <laughs> I can't. I heard about the incident earlier, but do you really mean that he rubbed your beautiful breast through Lee with both hands, Karin san? Oh, she's got cherry blossom! <laughs> right, because Sakura means cherry blossom. Y you're just making it sound worse. Give me a break, he only grazed them. Good, now I'm relieved. It sounded dis disturbing to me at first, but he said it was just a misunderstanding. There's no way I can trust that guy. You suffered because of him too. Uh, uh, I was just careless. Oh yeah, Sakura. What was Gaijin talking about when he said something weird about you having a sister? Uh, eh? Nothing, it's just a silly mistype, excuse me. I don't know how he got that idea. He's way too sus. I can't, just can't trust him. <coughs> That's what you get if you don't trust me. I suppose. I'll protect you guys. Karin-chan, I think you're overreacting. You definitely do. I'm gonna be honest here. What? You got a problem? I understand that you're mad, but I don't think you should have thrown him out just for that. Oh, I see. So you're gonna take his side? Um, I don't want to be presumptuous, but I think you have gone too far. Besides, he is a guest from a foreign country. Hold on, Sakura. You too? You guys are making me look that the bad guy. Wah! Um, no, I don't mean to be judgmental about your opinion, but I do honestly think we need a fair point of view. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm going to bed. Karin has left the room. Karin Chan? Excuse me, I'm not feeling well either. Good night. Cherry Blossom has left the chat room. Sakura Chan? Hello? Oh my god, everyone in this class is hating me, guys. Need water. My thirst awakens me. I look around and the sky is bright. It's already morning. I actually spent the whole night outside. Sleeping outside is almost like begging to be robbed. I tried to stay on a guard and undercover, but I was just so tired that I slept like a rock. Thankfully, it didn't. doesn't look like anyone's rummage through my luggage. Just like she said, a single blanket was enough to sleep soundly. There's also a tidy public bathroom nearby, so no problems there. I honestly can't say it was cozy, cozy but it wasn't all that terrible either. I'm not saying my mood is on par with my comfort level though. Aren't I a guest there? Is this really how they treat their guests? I don't expect to be spoiled or anything. Just treat me like a human being, that's all I ask. Damn, Sensei. I think back to our conversation from yesterday. It did seem like those three didn't know all the details about my visit. Maybe no one had to told them about it. I lift my phone, ready to give Sensei a piece of my mind. No, wait, now that I think about it, Sensei is a real prankster. If I go crying back to him, he'll just get a kick out of it. Actually, this situation almost seems like something he planned for me. That's gotta be it. Damn you! For now, I wander around the shrine grounds in search of water. After walking a bit near the entrance to the inner shrine grounds, I see a place where you can scoop up some water. I draw the water into the ladle and put it to my lips. Delicious! Oishi! The cool water seems to flow throughout my body. Nobody saw that, right? I wonder if it's okay to wash my face too. It's no biggie, right? I feel alive again. I'm refreshed after washing my face. Finally, I'm wide awake. Um... What? Oh no, did someone see me washing my face? Am I gonna get chewed out? Your name was, um... Uh... Hazuki? Hazuki who? Was that her first name again? Are you hungry? Uh, yeah. Then, straight I am. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday afternoon. Can you eat rice? I was in a rush, so there's no feeling, but have this onigiri. She has an onigiri in her hand. Japanese onigiri! 
It's just a simple dish of cooked rice packed into a triangular shape. What's this black paper-like stuff stuck on it? I asked the question I had wondered about when I saw onigiri in anime. That's nori. It's dried out seaweed hardened into a sheet. It's edible, so don't worry. Each grain in the plump mound of rice seems radiant to me. I take the onigiri from her hands and as if I'm handling something fragile. Delicious! I speak without thinking after taking the first bite. There's no filling inside, it's just a clump of rice flavored with some salt. Yet, the moment it enters my mouth, it gently comes apart. As I chew, the inside of my mouth fills with the warm sweetness of the rice and the taste of the seaside scented crispy nori is yet another great accent. Delicious! I ate the two onigiri she brought in no time flat. <laughs> I'm glad that you seem to like it. I thought maybe you'd rather have some bread, but this was all I could get ready so quickly. Oh, Yamato Nadeshiko. What? I, I, I'm not like that. Huh? I thought Yamato Nadeshiko was a compliment. Stop, stop, you're embarrassing me. Wow, nobody ever told me that before. My heart is pounding here. Oh, and by the way, did you hear that she said Doki Doki? Actually, it's not a reference to DLC, of course, but Doki Doki in Japanese actually means a uh, sound of a heartbeat, you know? That's that's how they say it in Japanese. It's Doki Doki for a heartbeat. Hmm? Did I use the term incorrectly? Well, whatever. Uh, and so you Hazuki-san? <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm Hazuki Aoi. I'm staying in here along with Karin-chan and Sakura-chan. You can call me Aoi. Okay, Aoi. My name is Yorkfield Zaisho. I think you already know, but I'm a transfer student who's studying in Japan. Sorry about last night with Karin Chan. I can't stop her from rampaging once she gets in angry mode. Wow, I feel like for the first time since I came to Japan, I'm really truly being treated like a human being. Thanks, but it's not your fault, Aoi, so don't worry about it. What? So you're trying to say it's my fault? Here comes the big boss. Anyway, get up, Aoi. Go wake up Sakura. We're gonna have a family meeting. Family meeting? What? I don't get it, guys. In Japanese households, they take off their shoes and leave them in the entryway. I try to go inside with my shoes on and get seriously yelled at. Listen, I know you're not supposed to do it. I just did it as a joke. Tomoe Dormitory is a historical looking wooden Japanese style building. When I step on the wooden floor in the hallway, it makes creaky noises. How exotic! And plus, this is a tatami style room. Tatami is a kind of flooring unique to Japan that's made from woven dried straw. It's very fine grain and feels nice to the touch. This kind of place you would usually film with excitement, but right now I'm not quite in the mood to appreciate it to its fullest. Ten minutes have passed since I was allowed in the Tomoe dormitory. Yayoi-san is glaring daggers at me. This is more than a little uncomfortable. These three girls are the only one living here, right? Let me calm down and think rationally about this. Of course they'd be cautious, especially since they didn't even know that I'm a guy. They're probably gonna kick me out, aren't they? Where should I stay? Maybe I can get some advice at school? I'm just gonna say it. First off, I have no intention of apologizing for yesterday morning. You can at least understand that much, right? No? Oh, 
And like I said yesterday, that was just an accident. My words are cut short by her piercing glare. I guess she was... She has more she wants to say. But the next day, I guess I calmed down a bit or something. It's not an overstatement to say I went too far. I don't disagree with that. Or more like, it was mean. I don't- I won't dispute that. Uh, what? This isn't quite a reaction I was expecting. Ah, uh, Ah, man, anyway, I don't know. Ayu and Sakura, just decide the rest between you two. Hey, Sakura, are you actually awake? Sorry, I know you're not a morning person. Yes? I'm still a little sleepy, but this is important, so it's okay. うん、昨日のことは僕が不注意だったのが悪いから。え、それにおにぎり美味しそうに食べてくれたよ。ああいう食べ方する人に悪い人はいないと思うんだ。うん、アクシデントイエステデイ、ワズリージャストビカズアウ
Why are you spouting off mushy stuff so casually? Your foreigners drive me crazy. Are you an idiot? Are you an idiot? I'm officially accepted as a member of Tomoe Dormitory. I went through a lot, but in the end, it all worked out. They say that these girls are only the only ones living at Tomoe Dormitory. Their guardian, the head prize Shirakawa, is always going on journeys, wandering around Japan. Yeah, he seems like the kind of guy that would get along with Sensei. In other words, I'm going to be staying under the roof, one roof with these cute Japanese girls, but for two whole months. This is even more fantastic than I have imagined. I'm gonna tell you up front, if you try any funny business again, you're kicked out. Cause we're family, got it? I know that, I won't do anything weird. I'm solemnly swear to be a perfect gentleman. You know what guys, I'm just gonna do a bow for it. Yeah, looking back, I was getting a little too comfortable yesterday. Even, I admit, I was too energetic for the first thing in the morning. Starting today, for real, I'll get serious. By the way, where's Sakura? Aoi had said she was going to prepare for the welcome party and left. I said I would carry her thing, but she refused since I'm a guest. I feel kinda bad about making her go shopping all by herself though. You're already dropping the sun? Typical gaijin, what a lack of restraint. Huh? But you said everyone in Tomoe Dormitory is family, right? So isn't it normal to call each other by your first names? Well, yeah, I guess so. Sakura's probably in the kitchen. I bet she's baking something sweet for your welcome party. Dessert! That's wonderful! I'm gonna go check on her. After walking a bit, I found the kitchen. Sakura is humming while happily cooking. Sakura, what, you, what are you making? Oh, Yorkfield, did I keep you waiting? I don't have much time today, so I'm just making some simple cookies. Cookies? Wonderful! I love cookies too! I can see Sakura is kneading some cookie dough in the bowl. The bowl, sorry. Well, there's a spoon. Spoon here. Time to grab a bite of cookie dough. Yummy! It smells like black tea. Hi! My father is a Japanese beekeeper. I also eat cold tea. But I can't eat it directly. Yes, my father is into things from the UK, so I'm partial to black tea. But Yorkfield, that's not something you eat as is. What? Really? In my country, we just eat it like that. Like, you just can't wait for it to cook. So you squeeze a little from the tube and pop it in your mouth. Tube? From the tube? It sounds like cookies are quite different from in other countries. Anyway, Yorkfield son, don't snatch food without permission. Sakura flicks me in the forehead as she says that. <laughs> A classy girl who's good at baking. She really is the ideal Yamato Nadeshiko. Oh, that reminds me. So really, you were buying Samurai Maiden for yourself, is that right? Uh, th this is kind of scary, Sakura. You're smiling, but not smiling at the same time? What are you lurking around for? Don't get in Sakura's way. Just sit down and wait patiently. Karin drags me back into the living room by the nape of my neck. I run my hand over the tatami mats I wasn't be able to enjoy earlier. I bring my face close to it and smell it. Oh, it smells like straw. Tatami smells so good. What on earth are you doing? Well, I guess as long as you're enjoying yourself. Oh, by the way, does this dormitory have an air conditioner in every room? Isn't that a waste of electricity? What's it like in your country? Well, Central Air is normal in my country. The air is either cold and then it's carried around the whole house through pipes. Oh, 
そういうのをドラマで見たことあるでもそういえばなんでだろうね日本の家ってぴっちり閉じてないからそれだとダメなのかも。Oh, yeah. it, oh, I see. The reason goes back to how traditional Japanese homes are built. That's so deep. あんた、日本のことそんなに好きなの日本のことそんなに好きなの You really like Japan that much? Yes, I do! I'm an extreme weebo! So much, in fact, that I see myself as Japanese. I'm French, but I see myself as a Japanese man. It's written in my channel description if you want to see it. Of course! Ever since I was a little kid, I admired Japan. That's why I'm so happy to be here. So, then, if you're in the middle of the day, you'll be able to make a good memory. Oh, well then, I hope you can make lots of good memories while you're here. Karine's scary when she gets mad, and she's very frank. Still, even if she looks uninterested, she'll have a conversation with me. She's gotta be a good girl at heart. I'm back. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll start getting ready for the party now. Aoi wa, hitori de ryori kara sentaku kara, tomoe ryo no kaji, zenbu yatte no yo ne. Atama ga agan nai wa. From cooking to laundry, Aoi does all the chores at Tomoe Dormitory herself. I can't thank her enough. Though, she doesn't look the part. Aoi is the motherly type. Even yesterday, she was the only one who didn't do anything mean to me. She doesn't get angry very often, but she sees the kitchen as her castle. So you'd better watch out for that. Huh? Sakura chan, I said to clean everything up before I get back, didn't I? Why aren't you done yet? Oh, Aoi san, I'm sorry. I only do this once in a while, so I'm not that skillful at it. Don't be giving me any lift, getting your gear in rear in gear. You, you, all you dog boys, get in the oven! I'm not done putting the toppings on that. Please, please forgive me. <laughs> Gonna cook these little buggers until they yummy and brown nicely? Yeah! Huh? Madeline? The image of Aoi I had in my head is already broken. Towards the ending, it got me laughing a little bit, you know, because of Aoi screaming at Sakura. It scared me, but also made me laugh for some reason. Maybe because I wasn't expecting Aoi to scream and to say things like, GET IN THE OVEN! <laughs> but yeah, Tokyo School Life so far is making me laugh a lot. A lot more than Doki Doki, to be honest. Thank you so much for watching this part 2 on TSL or Tokyo School Life. We'll be back in the third episode, or maybe in another game, or maybe another video that is not a game video. So yeah, stay safe, take care, peace, bye!